ANCOG is an open source corpus analysis toolkit. Its main function is to identify patterns in large collections of text, such as novels, blog posts, emails, or essays. These patterns might provide you with valuable clues for your research. Today we're going to show you how to get started with ANCONC and quickly demo some of its powerful features. You can download the version for your operating system directly from the author's website, which we'll include the link for in the description. Uh, next, let's load in some texts. Project Gutenberg hosts one of the largest collections of public domain ebooks in the world. So let's look at the Sherlock Holmes detective books written by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Note that you must use files in a plain text format like .txt with antconc. You can use a program like Microsoft Word to convert a document to .txt files if you need to. Now that we've loaded our text into Anconc, we're ready to analyze. Let's look for all instances of murder. Anconc contains a number of features to discover trends in the words that occur near or next to our search terms. For today, let's try co-locate searches with a few different words. Anconc uses a combination of searching and statistical analysis to show us words that appear near our search term and that were unlikely to appear there by chance alone. You may wish to play with some of the parameters in the bottom right of the screen. I'm increasing the minimum frequency to 5, which helps make sure that AntConc is capturing repeated trends in our data and not just a single weird phrase that appeared once. AntConc can export your results through the Save Output to Text File feature. These are plain text files, but they use tab-separated formatting, which means that you can load them into a spreadsheet with Excel. And this gives you all kinds of extra features for working with data. I hope that you enjoy this introduction and that you keep exploring. We'll include some links in the description to other webinars and tutorials. Enjoy Anconc, and thanks for watching.